I'm Doug Imbo from the Lewis Winch Company. I'd like to show you our brand new 2012 Lewis Winch. But just before I do that, I'd like to show you the 50 years of the evolution of the Lewis Winch. This one that you see here is probably one of the earliest model pictures that we have available. You see the brake handle on there. The brake handle is consistent through all the years. That's the, about the only way I can really recognize it as being a Lewis Winch. This particular model was a chain drive. Now it didn't use the same kind of chain we use today. It actually used roller chains, so you had to convert your chainsaw over to roller chain in order to run this Lewis winch. But uh, you can see the sprocket in there. You had to uh, once you had that bolted up, you had to run your chain on. But it did the same thing as today. It didn't have as much power, of course, but uh, but it it did the job. This is the next evolution of the Lewis winch. Now these ones uh, are very similar to what you see today. Again, you'll see the brake handle is exactly the same. Uh, the fair lead is much narrower. We've widened the fair lead out now so it's the full width of the spool. So it's easy to wind the cable on nice and even. And on this model, you can see the crank on the clutch handle. So the clutch uh, screwed into a hole in the sprocket. So that has changed a lot over the years. And these were a two-piece aluminum housing, whereas now it's all state-of-the-art, one-piece aluminum, all machined on CNC machines. So a big difference between this model and the new ones. This is a picture of an old one that a customer uh, sent in to us. He, was gonna, he found it in his garage, and he was going to get her going again. It was still perfectly good, probably about 30 or 40 years old, from the 70s or maybe 80s. Uh, this is a later version, one of the last ones out of the Medford plant, and you see the clutch handle on that is a, you know, a long fabricated uh, piece of steel, nothing like the new one we have today. This is the 212 model Lewis winch. We've got a nice polished aluminum clutch knob, much different than you've seen on, on the older ones. Very similar looking. Uh, we've put an O-ring on the output shaft. Uh, some of the older ones, especially from the Medford plant, were notorious leakers, so we've solved that problem. This, that isn't going to happen with the new 2012s. We've uh, changed the tail. The, the old horseshoe arrangement we used to have on there is gone now, and the universal mount mounts up, and that gives you a lot more room to get your fingers in to screw up the nuts to get the direct drive on. And as I was saying earlier, the fair lead is much wider. You'll see it's the full width of the spool and very easy to uh, bring the cable up and wind it on nice and even, rollers on each side. And this is where the universal mount now bolts on. This is, this is part of the casting rather than the separate horseshoe arrangement that we used to have on the old Lewis winches. And we put an oil seal on the input shaft too. So again, no, no, le no leakers in these 2012 models. This is the best of the best, the greatest Lewis winch of all time. That's how the Lewis Winch does that. <laughs>